Hey, how are ya? I uh, just wanted to check in. It's the first time I've really had a chance to do that since uh, last week in Serbia. We were just um, enjoying the nice holiday, the nice break over there, and then um, I've been fighting a flu, so actually, first time I really have a voice all week, so um, I just wanted to take this opportunity to um, really thank everyone. I think I have gotten so many messages and calls and texts from people, from my friends, from my family, from supporters all over the world, really, um, about GPC Worlds before and especially after, and um, I just wanted to thank you all so much. Um... Also, a huge, huge thank you to my clients who, as you know, I, some of you, I didn't even see your training videos until we landed uh, in Dublin on Sunday. So we're kind of behind on a few things. Um, so thanks, guys, for being so incredibly patient with me. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I flew. So, um, yeah, as you all know, I bombed. First time I've bombed since I was getting started in 2010 in Castle Blaney. And um, I, I know why. There was exactly why. There were two reasons. One was um, basically travel time. And it was something that couldn't be helped because we had the citizenship ceremony on Monday. So I couldn't travel until the Wednesday. And of course, um, lifting on Thursday... My little old body just doesn't recover like it used to. And so couple that with a weight cut and I'd say I, you know, physically wasn't prepared. And then mentally on the day, um, my head was still, my head was still in the States and Finland and all over the shop everywhere, but where it should have been and focused on other things. So, um, I'm not saying that as an excuse. I'm not saying that as, um, coulda, shoulda, woulda, you know, a lot of people go, oh, I woulda, but this or that. It's, it's not that at all. It's. It is what it is. You learn. And um, I guess the main thing I want to talk about, though, is most people are going, Jen, why didn't you just lower your opener? And I know I could have, and I could have easily won. And, um, you know, anybody that knows my lifting knows that that, that wasn't the issue. You know, I'm, um, I suppose we all do this for different reasons. And mine has gotten beyond, you know, winning a meet or winning a medal or winning a trophy or, um, you know, I've got the, the last European championship, I, you know, set eight world records. The one I did before that, uh, I don't remember how many records and won overall, like overall most points of anyone competing. So, um, I know I could have won the meet. I'm not worried about that. It's to that point, I'm pretty much, um, when I lift, it's to push myself and be the best that I can possibly be. And um, I'm kind of pushing those limits and pushing those boundaries, you know, and, and challenging myself by seeing how low I can go and how much weight I can lift. And um, I had so much fun. <laughs> and that's the truth. And I think anybody that knows me knows that um, I, I'll be back and I'll do it again. And I'm a pretty stubborn little bitch. And now that I've decided I want to do something... Not getting it the first time I try is just going to make me that much more determined to do it again. Um, and I'm just going to treat this the same way I've treated injuries. You can look at it as kind of a crossroads in your career and nobody would blame you if you say, oh, well, you know, you hit the wall, you did your best, now you know, and no. Or or you can look at it and say, okay, I, I'm going to really appreciate it when I do get it because I have to work that much harder to do it. And so... Um, that's the choice I've been presented with, and um, I think anybody that knows me knows where I'll be next time, um, and there definitely will be next time. But, um, so overall, so that was my thinking behind that, and um, thanks everyone for the well wishes and for the understanding and for the people that think I was silly because I did things the way they did. I respect your opinion, but respectfully disagree. Um... And more than anything, you know, like I said, we all do this sport for different reasons. And um, so I have mine, and I'm sure you have yours. And I just want to thank everyone for their support. 
over the years and uh, especially the guys in Patrick's Well and the guys in Bull Farm Lapland and um, the three rocks in my life I suppose Frank for taking care of me through the whole trip and uh, my coach chair who has stuck by me through so much and of course Johannes um, I love you guys I love you all and I'll be back and I'll see you all again very soon.